and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new in today's video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be talking to you guys about my journey to sonography school you know what made me realize i wanted to do sonography um kind of like my application process and you know what i had to take to get into the program that i wanted to get into etc etc so let's just keep it short and let's just get straight into it so I graduated high school in 2017. I was 17. I turned 18 that summer. And at first when I graduated, I, I applied for local college um, with a major in health science because I wanted to originally become a nurse practitioner and um, I wanted to focus it on women's health. So that was kind of like my goal. So I spent like first semester so fall first semester 2017 and like I was like okay like I think this is what I want to do but like I hate blood I hate needles <laughs> and I was like okay so this is gonna be a bit of an issue because I'm gonna be a nurse yet I get queasy at the sight of these things so 2018 rolled around and I was um I had began taking classes online instead of on campus I my mom was like why don't you look into like ultrasound like you know when she's like you just scan and you're done and i'm like oh wow that sounds so easy you don't just scan and you're done okay <laughs> but um so i looked into it and i loved it i loved the field i loved what sonography could do and how sonography can contribute to healthcare in general so i was like all right this is what i want to do at the time, I was getting my associate's in arts degree, so I was still taking classes. I started looking at, like, basically how to finish off my degree with, like, prerequis prerequisites for health science still. I didn't fully look at, like, the outline for sonography, honestly. 2019 came around, and then towards the end of 2019, I had to take a break um, from school for, like, that fall semester due to personal things, and then 2020 came around, and I didn't go back to school during spring semester, and I was, like, I was, by 2019 fall, I was almost finished with my degree. I just had, like, two classes, um, but like I said, due to personal issues, I physically could not go to school and so yeah I was kind of just home after the beginning of 2020 I was home I was just like recovering and trying to get myself better just physically and mentally from what I had just gone through and stuff and then one day I was just sitting and I got you know this random burst of like inspiration of like motivation and I was like, remember sonography, like what you wanted to do, you know, I never lost sight of it, but it's just in the moment, it just wasn't the right time. I had to focus on myself and make myself better before I could go into any field of work. And so I remember that day, I was like, all right, Nicolette, like, if this is what you really want to do, you know, let's do your research and let's figure out what you need to do because you're almost finished with your degree. Like, what can we do to make this happen? Um, Thankfully, the school that I was already previously attending had a sonography program that was accredited. I mean, at the time, I didn't know about accreditation, but now I know. And I took advantage of that little burst of motivation and inspiration. And I, you know, looked at everything and I'm like, all right, I have to, you know, I, I didn't have physics or bio. Yeah, I didn't have physics or bio. I go, all right, I still need you know, one elective. Yeah, you know, I just needed three credits, I think, or something like that, three or six. I'm like, all right, so I'm gonna take physics as my last elective course, you know, cause you can take anything. Boom, did that, graduated with my degree. I also found out during that day when I did my research that I had to complete um, PCA program. Basically you had to have previous like healthcare experience or you could have completed like the EMT program or the PCA program. So the patient care assisting program. At the time I didn't know PCA meant a CNA, but it was the CNA program. And so, like I said, this was in like May, maybe like April, March, April of 2020 that, you know, I found this out. So then I, I'm sorry, 
yeah 2020 so then that summer I took the physics course and then I finished my degree I graduated in August and then that fall I kind of spent as like me figuring out what I needed to do so I applied to the PCA program at the school got in boom started January 2021 I did that it was three and a half months I actually became a CNA um, I took my state tests and everything. I never worked as a CNA because that's not what I wanted to do. But because I was already in the program and I learned everything, I was like, okay, like, I might as well get certified just in case, you know, it's always great to have backup plans for school and just in general. So that was kind of like a backup, backup, backup plan because I really didn't personally want to work as a CNA. So I finished that program because it started in January. I finished it around April. I took my CNA licensing exam in April and I had made some two really great friends and in that program and they were in the program to get into the sonography program um, 2021 fall. And I was like, oh my gosh. So we became close and you know, we all just started talking and now they're some of my best friends. I love them. Shout out to y'all. But so, I my one of one of the girls and I we realized we were the ones that didn't take physics our other friend had and we were like damn we need to take physics because we looked at the outline for like the application and ours was based upon a point system so I let's say we had you had to take physics and there were certain classes that if you took them it would give you like extra points towards your overall um, point average for when you were submitting your application and we were like yeah let's just take physics in the summer get her done just so that you know we can have extra points and make sure that we get accepted so summer 2021 I took just the physics course with my friend um, it was actually kind of fun because like we were together and it was literally six weeks physics in six weeks I'm not good at physics and I took it in six weeks okay Anyways, so after that, that course started in May, like late May, and it finished in early July. And application deadline was like, let's say it was like July 7th or something like that. And I was like, I need to make sure that this course gets on my transcript by July 7th. Because if I were to, you know, submit my application, I didn't have to send any transcripts because the school already had my transcript because I was already a student there, you know? Um... I was like, then they're not gonna see that like I took the course or it's technically not gonna count because it, it wasn't in by the deadline, you know? So that's another thing that you have to always like um, think about when you're applying to different schools and such for sonography, you know, you gotta send your transcripts and those come with fees as well as application fees. Although I was already a student, I did have to, I think, I think I had to pay a limited access fee because this was a limited access program, meaning that like, you know, um, it was through like the limited access uh, program. That's who the application went to. And I guess it's because, you know, you pick a certain amount of students, whatever. I did have to pay an application fee. It wasn't costly at all, but still I was like, dang, I was like, I'm already a student, like, but it doesn't matter. So I did have to pay an application fee. Um, there was no entry exams that I had to take for this program. I guess, I mean, Every program is different. Um, I've heard a lot of programs taking entry exams and mine didn't have one. Like I said, you had to have some previous experience in healthcare, whether as you completed the PCA program, EMT program, you worked as a nurse, like you worked in healthcare, like in the past however many years, like you had to have some type of patient care experience in order to even be considered for the program and to complete your application. So I did that and I submitted my application Boy, was I nervous. I spent last summer, I was working and I was like, I really though beforehand, I had all of my backup plans, you know, lined out. I'm like, all right, you know, my professors in the PCA slash CNA program that I was in was like, why are you going for sonography? Like you should go for nursing. And I just knew what I wanted to do. Um, I guess they, thought that I would be a good nurse but I was like you know that's just not my passion I'd rather contribute to healthcare in the way that I think I best can rather than to just do something and not be happy in it and not give the best you know patient care experience because that is so important to me especially with having my own personal experiences 
that is so important to me and I think that if I were to go into something just because other people thought I was good in it or whatever I wouldn't be providing patients with the best healthcare experience I think you have to be health happy in what you're doing and enjoy actually what you're doing to do that in my opinion so I appreciate it but I appreciated it you know they were kind of annoyed actually that like so many of us were going into sonography I mean it was there was only like a few of us and three of us um were going into sonography and there, there was like a couple more that wanted sonography too so then I got accepted I found out in like August and I was like oh my god and my girls got accepted too we were like ah like we had just met earlier that year and just us wanting to just us having the same career goals like made us really tight um in that aspect and we were so happy for each other i was like oh, not only did i get accepted but i got accepted with my girls about going in there alone i was like lord knows i would cry um but so then i found out i got accepted and that was that i started my classes in august of 2021 and i just completed my first semester of ultrasound school my program is 15 months um like i said in my video about like applying to different schools you really want to make sure that your school that you desire to go to is accredited please make sure of that because if it's not you cannot sit to take your registry um but yeah, I'm entering my second semester. I started it last week. We started clinicals full time too. So I'll definitely film a video of my clinical experience. And yeah, but um, you know, it was a journey and it's not something that happens overnight. Sometimes people, you know, graduated high school knowing they wanted to go into sonography. I have people in my class who are as young as like 19, 20 and who could be as old as like in their 50s. Like it really doesn't matter, you know, your age or when you did this or when you did that. It's just when you realize you want to do something, go for it. I, I don't, it has no age limit. And I'm just really happy to have been accepted. I honestly feel honored. Like I... I have a really good class too. We have a group chat, we talk, and everybody is just helpful and intelligent in their own way. And I'm very happy to be able to experience that. Um, because besides the PCA program, like I had no healthcare experience. I had no background of any, you know, medical field things. And to be in a class where like everybody has the same goal but everybody comes from like different backgrounds i just think it's really cool and i'm very just I'm, I'm very appreciative also for the group that i have we're so helpful um with each other and you know something as just easily forgetful as like a date that something is due like we got each other's backs and i think it's just i think it's really cool you know so yeah that is my condensed <laughs> version of my journey to sonography school yeah that that is my story that you guys asked for so thank you for watching um i plan on filming a video on like any questions that you guys have for me because i've been seeing questions underneath like my um how like uh, what to look for in a sonography program i think i did like a day in the life of a sonographer and also like my first semester experience i did like three videos so leave me questions down below i'm gonna take those questions from those videos but also leave me questions down below that you have about like my first semester and i'll be sure to answer them i am a little busy because it's full-time clinicals but i'm i'm trying so but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i wish you all the best of luck on whatever journey you are going on don't forget to like this video comment down below comment below any questions you have about like my first semester experience of sonography school anything let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell on for when i post a new video bye Show up, I keep you down the roller Meet me on the west side for me